Ed Sheeran's Tides of his 2021 album Equals is a really great track. As always, I'm here to improve your knowledge of music and not just to teach you to play one song. So in this video, I'm going to teach you to play Tides, but also about modal harmony. Now that's something you don't expect to learn about in a tutorial about how to play an Ed Sheeran song. But my sound tuition channel is here to make musicians and not performing monkeys. So the quickest way to learn this piece, or in fact any piece, is to start with the structure. Rather than the usual method of learning where everyone dives into the tab or chord sheet as if they are tubs of ice cream after a bad breakup. If you don't know anything about musical structure, then do not worry. But from what I say next, just be aware we are trying to work out how many different parts we need to learn in order to successfully play the entire song. The structure of tides is intro, verse, pre-chorus, chorus, break, verse, pre-chorus, and then the song ends with a double chorus with a break between them. So step one, write down those timestamps and listen to Ed Sheeran's tides and notice which parts are musically the same and which parts are musically different. From the analysis of the structure, we can clearly see we need to learn five different parts. However, one of the easy things about this song is that the intro and verse are musically the same and the pre-chorus is actually musically very similar to the verse. The link is just one chord, so all that means we really only need to learn two ideas. And I can't stress enough how powerful this way of learning a piece of music is. Less than two minutes ago, you were looking at learning a piece of music which lasts three minutes and 15 seconds. Now you're trying to learn two short musical ideas. Get a pencil and paper and write down the following. The intro is this, the verse is this, the pre-chorus is this, the chorus is this, and then the link is just one chord played for four bars. Rhythmically, you can literally play quarter notes the entire time, so the entire song is this.
Next, the easier option is to use a capo, which changes the chord shapes. Notice, the actual chords we are playing are identical, but that the shapes we are using to create them are easier. For example, when you play a C shape chord with a capo at the fourth fret, that creates an E chord. See, they are musically both E chords. And the B chord can be replaced with a G chord shape when you have the capo at the fourth fret. Here are how the chords change. Look at the relationship between the chords. Notice the relative position of the chords to each other remains the same. Without a capo, E is chord one and B is chord five. But with a capo at the fourth fret, C is chord one and G is chord five. This beautifully leads me on to the lesson I want to give you about modal harmony. Hopefully you know there are only 12 notes that make pretty much all of the music you like to listen to, and that most songs only use a single set of seven notes at any one time. And the two most popular types of these sets of notes are called major keys and minor keys. For example, these are the notes used to make a song in E major. When the notes are in this specific order, we call them the E major scale. And then these are the notes used to make a song in E minor. And when the notes are in this particular order, we call this the E minor scale. Major generally sounds happy and minor sad. Although personally, I prefer to think of major as orange and minor as blue, because there are plenty of minor songs that aren't that sad and major ones that aren't that happy. But whatever works for you. Modes are simply a fancy word for scales. And if we are happy with major and minor, then why can't we have other groups of notes? The answer is we can and each different group of notes has a different name. And each type of mode, or scale really, has a different feeling. Notice Tides focuses clearly around an E major chord, but that the notes aren't the same as the E major scale. There is one sharp more used in Tides. Tides has an A sharp note, which can be seen in the F sharp major chord. And for that reason, the song is brighter in some ways than if the song was in E major. What do we call this set of notes? Well, they're called E Lydian, which is like E major, but the fourth note, the A, is raised in E Lydian compared with E major. Don't get scared by the word Lydian. If you're happy with the words major and minor, then why not the word Lydian? From today's lesson, enjoy playing along with Ed Sheeran's Tides, and experiment yourself with putting chord progressions together that focus on or return home to different places other than the obvious place. For example, play the chords of C major with or without a capo and try these three progressions. Notice they all use the same chords, but home is a different place. And that affects how our ears measure the distances between the chords, which changes how they feel. And as a result, these different flavors or colors or sounds all have different names. For those interested in modes, check out my other videos. And for those who don't understand anything I just said, check out my 60 second lessons. Have a great day. I'm Pete Cook, soundvision.com. Something you don't expect to learn about. Now that's something you don't expect to learn about in the tutorial. That's hard to say.